The movie begins showing British society in the 1970s. At that time, agitation was going on between the coal miners and the British Empire, which was reduced to a union called the United Kingdom. The situation was so severe that the government started power cuts after sundown. The entire city of London was under a pitch black darkness. People were forced to use candles and lamps at night. It was that era when women used to work mainly in the nursing and teaching fields. The opportunities for women in other fields were few, and society was male-dominant. This film's story is about one such nurse, Valerie, also known as Val. She has a condition called nyctophobia, meaning the fear of darkness. A childhood trauma has caused her condition. In the darkness, she used to breathe heavily, her blood pressure used to rise, and she used to sweat a lot. That's why she always works in the daylight. One morning, we see Val joining the East London Hospital. The blackouts in the city are supposed to start from that day onward. Hospital staff are seen preparing for the blackout. Val meets with a matron nurse on her first day. A strict lady, who dictates all the rules to Val, such as following all the orders from doctors, no chit-chat, no makeup, no short skirts, and a myriad others. Here, we also come to know that Val is an orphan. She has no family. She grew up in Our Lady of Grace Children's home, and is a devoted Catholic. Matron places Val in the gynecology ward. Sometime later, Val finds a Bangladeshi immigrant, Saba, in the nurse's washroom. She brings her to the second floor, where she is the patient of Dr. Franklin. It turns out that Saba is suffering from a liver-related issue. Saba, too, has no family, as she has come from a refugee camp. Dr. Franklin seems to be fed up with Saba, as she is not taking her medicine on time and is always roaming around in the hospital. Val talks nicely with her and gives her the medicine. Saba seems to like Val, and takes her medicine from her. Later, she has a medical discussion with Dr. Franklin, which impresses him. Dr. Franklin requests the matron to place Val in his ward. Matron agrees, but she is not impressed. She stares at Val and warns her implicitly that she has been working here for many years. She knows the ins and outs of this hospital. Following the superior's order blindly will make Val safe and comfortable. Otherwise, the consequences may be fatal for her. Later, we see that Matron has punished Val for her disobedience by placing her on a night shift. Val is concerned because of her condition, but she says nothing, as she cannot put her job at risk. The blackouts start to happen in the evening. The hospital staff are seen sending patients and kids to another hospital due to the power outbreak. In the East London Hospital, only the ICU ward is getting power, with the help of a generator. Eventually, they have to shift the children from the children's ward as well. We see Saba moving too. As the children are being transferred, we see Val cleaning the walls of this ward. This is also a part of her punishment. At that same time, we see a poster outside this ward, which is to encourage reporting any the hospital. While Val is cleaning a vent, which is covered in a thick black mold with a foul odor, the door of the storeroom opens on its own. Val hears a cracking sound and goes to check it out. When she enters the room, some unknown force expels her. Val gets scared and a little bit confused. In the evening, Val gets ready for the blackout. Suddenly, the blackout happens before the due time. Along with Val, three other nurses are working night shifts in the hospital that night. Val's duty is on the fourth floor, but due to the blackout, she ends up in the second floor's maternity ward by mistake. On the second floor, Val meets two other nurses, Comfort and Terry in the maternity ward. Terry is seen reading Stephen King's famous horror book in a dark, empty hospital at night. Comfort helps Val and takes her to the third floor. There, a senior nurse, Barb, is working. Barb is surprised to see Val, as she has known her since childhood. Both Val and Barb grew up in the same orphanage. Hence, Barb also knows Val's history. Barb is different from Val. She is bold, mean, and ambitious, and wanted to settle in life by marrying a rich guy. She chose to work as a nurse, as working ladies get good marriage proposals. As Val and Barb talk amongst themselves, the generator of the ICU ward breaks down. The total darkness spreads everywhere. Barb grabs Val's lamp to get emergency battery backups, without considering Val's condition. Val is left alone in this darkness, and she gets scared as hell. She goes out to grab a candle. Just then, she hears someone's voice calling her name in the darkness. Suddenly, someone grabs her from behind, which makes her fall onto the ground. At that moment, the power comes back, and we see Barb with the security guard in charge, named Neville. Neville introduces himself to Val, and Val judges that Neville is not a good man and of no good character. After a while, we see Neville her Barb seems to be cooperating with him, but by the look on her face, it seems she is in anguish. Later, Barb explains to Val that it is common here, if one wants to move up the ladder. One has to obey all the orders they are given, without thinking about anything. She warns Val about these things, and asks her to be strong from day one. After some time, Barb sends Val to the first floor to collect a few files. Due to her condition, Val is scared and moves very slowly. In the meantime, Neville is seen locking the doors to prevent criminals from entering the hospital. Val goes to Neville's chamber, where lots of posters are hung up. Neville has a collection of nurse photos, which he calls a treasure collection, basically for favors. It is revealed that the hospital's doctors are also indulging in the nurses and Neville is helping them in fulfilling their desires. Val gets scared seeing all this and she runs from Neville's chamber. On her way back, some unknown force attacks Val once again. It starts to lift her skirt. 
Val starts to panic, fleeing into the darkness, and ends up in the basement. There, she sees a toy dog which is making a ton of noise. As soon as she touches it, something grabs her from behind. It forcefully drags her out. In a few quick scenes, we see that Neville is burning in his chamber and someone is stabbing Barb's eyes. Later, we see Val in the maternity ward, where she stands in shock. Her hair and clothes are dirty. It turns out Val has no memory of what happened to her, or who did that to her. Terry gives Val a new set of clothes, as she is looking horrific. Just then, these three hear some noises in the ward. Upon checking, it is revealed to be Saba. She was supposed to move to another hospital, but she did not go. She angrily explains everything to Terry in comfort, but they are unable to understand anything. As Saba is speaking in the Bangla language, the national language of Bangladesh. Then, Val gives Saba a cookie and calms her down. She checks Saba's sketchbook, where she has made some creepy drawings. This makes Val believe that she might be scared of something as well. Suddenly, that unknown force possesses Val again. She starts to shake immensely in front of Terry and Comfort, which scares them. After a few minutes, Val stops shaking, but once again she has no memory of what just happened to her. Terry considers this must be a demonic possession due to her love for horror movies. She starts to flee the hospital through a window. There is a pipe beside the window, which she is planning to climb down. Comfort tries to stop her, but fails to do so. Somebody needs to look after the babies in this ward, so Comfort decides to continue doing her job. She does not believe in possession anyway. She now asks Val to go to her own ward. As Val starts to leave, she sees an image of a little girl in the glass. This whole time, this little girl's ghost has been possessing her. Her name is Gail. The hospital staff used to call her, Dirty Gail. Dirty Gail makes Val's hand involuntarily the pair of scissors, and she starts to bleed heavily. Comfort rushes in disbelief and tries to stop her bleeding. She bandages her up as Val falls unconscious. While Val is unconscious, she has a dream where Dirty Gail is chasing her and Saba. Val wakes up in shock. Saba has been beside her this whole time. Saba gives Val Gail's photo and tries to communicate to Val in broken English that Gail is forcing her to do things. Next, Val shows Comfort Gail's photo and confronts her. Comfort explains that Gail was a naughty girl. She used to disturb others. She never listened to anyone, and one day just went missing. They never found her body. Val explains to Comfort her ghost theory about Gail possessing her, but Comfort dismisses it. Just then, we see Barb arriving at the ward. Her eyes are damaged, and she is unable to see. Upon seeing Barb in this condition, Comfort gets scared. She thinks this might be Val's doing, as her duty was with Barb. Due to Barb's condition, Comfort angrily locks Val in a dark room. In that dark room, Gail possesses Val again, and she breaks the window to get out. Gail directly says to Comfort that she never listened to her, even though she tried many times. Comfort gets horrified as she is witnessing possession for the first time. She tries to inject a round of sedatives secretly into Val's body, but Gail, who is still possessing Val, stops her. She attacks Comfort and turns the syringe back on her. Seeing all this, Comfort tries to run for her life. She grabs Saba's hand as she heads for the window. Saba refuses to climb down as it's too deep for her, but Comfort goes ahead anyway. But by this time, the sedative has started its work. Hence, while moving down the pipe, Comfort loses her balance and falls. Meanwhile, in the maternity ward, Gail is seen to be haunting Barb. It is revealed that Barb knew about Neville's ab but she did not do anything about it. Barb gets scared, accepts her mistake, and promises to tell the truth to everyone, but Gail does not listen to her. Instead, she attacks her, taking her life. After a while, Val is released from possession. Surprisingly, this time Val remembers what happened to her and asks Saba to leave her. Val decides to leave the hospital. On her way out, she sees the bodies of Barb and Neville. The slightest vision appears, where she sees Gail being assaulted by Neville and ends up putting her in the furnace. Barb sees everything, yet does nothing, making common and tacitly accept it. The next morning, we see Val lying on the hospital bed. She wakes up when Saba comes in with an interpreter. The interpreter is a young doctor from West Bengal who can speak multiple languages. Saba tries to explain to Val about Gail's situation, that she is not inherently bad, but rather something bad happened to her. Saba tells Val that Gail protected her the whole night, and also hid her in the hospital. Saba also tells Val about the doctor listening to Saba. The interpreter soon gets anguished, and without translating, drags Saba out of there. He gets angry with Saba for saying all this to Val. Next, we see the CEO of the hospital with the department head and matron arriving to see Val. They know about the ghost theory from comfort, Val tells them that Neville took Gail's life, and Barb knew about it, hence both had to pay the price. The management dismisses Val's statement, instead quoting an incident of from her childhood. It turns out Val was by her headmaster, and she told everyone, but no one believed her. They called it her assumption and an act of attention-seeking. However, this time Val remains adamant, but the CEO denies even having any child named Gail in the hospital. Hearing the CEO, the matron looks surprised, as she knows the CEO is not telling the truth. After a while, Val is possessed once again. While being possessed by Gail, she draws a picture of Dr. Franklin. As soon as Val comes back to reality, she rushes to his office as she knows Saba is with him. She sees him taking Saba and calls out to them from behind. Dr. Franklin gets angry, seeing Val out of the ward. 
While talking to Dr. Franklin, Val signals Saba to get away from there. Meanwhile, Val asks the doctor whether he ever goes to the basement. Dr. Franklin takes that as a signal and takes Val downstairs. He has an alternate key to the basement, like other doctors, and Neville is the middleman. In the basement, Val calls Gale, but the doctor laughs it off, claiming that the men of the hospital can do anything they want unpunished. Dr. Franklin starts to f*** Val when Saba bursts in. This time, she has been possessed by Gale. Gale shifts into Val's body, and Val emits lightning which zaps Dr. Franklin. Both of them run away with the help of the matron, who appreciates their bravery. Meanwhile, the CEO gets a call from Gale to stop the cycle of or more people will be targeted and their blood will be on his hands. Gale warns him that this needs to end. The move ends with the CEO on the call in a state of shock. 